How much can you trust your own mind? You're probably familiar with the concept of false memories. It's been a big topic in forensic psychology over the years relating to the reliability of things like testimony and eyewitness accounts. And when you learn about how easily false memories can be formed, you'll see why. Elizabeth Loftus is a pioneer in the field of memory, and in 1995 she conducted her famous Lost in the Mall study. At the beginning of the study, the participants were given a booklet with details of four childhood memories. Three of these memories were things that actually happened to the person as verified by a family member, and the fourth was a false memory of being lost in a mall. Of course, the participants didn't remember the mall memory at first, but over the next few weeks they were interviewed multiple times and they were asked very pointed questions to try to get them to remember more details. By the end of the study, 25% of participants reported remembering the mall incident to at least some degree, and some of them had detailed, vivid memories of this thing that never happened. In the beginning, I mentioned the implications that being able to basically plant a memory in someone's head might have on testimony and legal proceedings. And a lot of the work that Elizabeth Loftus has gone on to do during the rest of her career focuses on that subject. I've included an interview with her about it in the link sources if you want to learn more.